Howdy, Cowboys fans and gridiron enthusiasts. Hold on to your hats because we're diving deep into the latest buzz straight out of Dallas. Picture this. A seasoned Super Bowl champ's making a comeback, and his name's Damian Wilson. But it ain't been no walk in the park for him, no siree. From wearing that star with pride to hustling with the Chiefs and Jaguars, Wilson's seen it all. And guess what? He's back in Dallas. But that's just the tip of the iceberg because we've also got the lowdown on Tyron Billy Johnson, the speedster burning up the field. And let's not forget the talk of the town, Ezekiel Elliott's return to the Lone Star State. It's a saga worth hearing, folks. So grab your popcorn and saddle up because we're in for one wild ride with them cowboys. Y'all hear about this latest news out of Dallas? Cowboys done went and signed a veteran. Yep, you heard that right, a veteran Super Bowl champ who's fixin' to make a comeback. Now, let me tell you about this fella. Goes by the name of Damian Wilson. Used to wear that star on his chest back from 2015 to 2018, never missed a beat, played all them games like a true blue cowboy. Started in 22 of M, showed up in 64. But then, things took a turn, YC. Cowboys didn't bring him back after his rookie contract. So, off he went, off to Kansas City for a couple of seasons. And let me tell you, he made his mark there, started every dang game he could and even helped them Chiefs clinch that Super Bowl victory back in 2019. But hold on now, don't think it's all been smooth sailing for Wilson. Nope, ain't been no walk in the park. After Kansas City, he hopped over to them Jaguars in 2021. And let's just say, it was a rough ride. Team went 3-14. Then, off to Carolina he went, Panthers gave him a shot. But even with his grit, they ended up with a 7-10 record and fired their coach midseason. Tough break, huh? And last year, he didn't even see the field, not even once. Spent the whole season on the sidelines, watching and waiting. But guess what? He's back, y'all. Back in Dallas, wearing that star once again. Ain't that something? Signed him up for the linebacking crew, cause lord knows we could use the help after Van Der Esch got sidelined with them injuries last season. So, y'all hear about Damian Wilson? Yeah, the Dallas Morning News dude, Michael Gelkin, tweeted about it, saying Wilson snagged a deal with the Cowboys. But get this, he's on that veteran minimum contract. What's that mean? Well, it means he's getting paid the least a vet can get, about $1.2 million plus a sweet $167,000 signing bonus. But here's the kicker, it only counts as if he's been in the league for two years, not eight. So, his cap hits like $1.15 million, with $985,000 plus that bonus. Gilkin spilled the beans on Twitter, saying the Cowboys locked down Wilson for a year, using that veteran salary trick. Smart move, right? Gives them more depth than the linebacker crew. Wilson was chillin' on the practice squad at the end of last season, so he knows the drill. Funny thing is, Wilson circling back to the Cowboys after bouncing to the Chiefs in 2019. Back then, he was a hotshot player, but the Cowboys had their linebacker lineup solid. Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith were holding down the fort, and Sean Lee was still in the mix. Kansas City got a steal with Wilson, but now he's back in Dallas. Crazy how things turn out, huh? The Chiefs just snagged themselves a starter for a cool two years, coughing up $5.75 million for the deal. Meanwhile, over in Dallas, them Cowboys linebacker crew is in dire need of some backup. Yep, that's right, Wilson's moseying on back to Dallas, but things ain't like they used to be. See, Van Der Esch hung up his boots cause of a pesky old neck injury that just kept acting up, especially back in week five. And Smith, well, he had his moments of glory wearing the star, but the fella couldn't shake off them injuries neither, ended up getting the boot. Now, the Cowboys went and drafted DeMarvin Leal last year, reckoning he'd bring some rookie spark, but a torn ACL put a stop to that real quick. But fear not, folks. He's fixing to make a comeback this year, and fingers crossed, he'll slide right into that team rotation, holding down the fort in the middle. Now, ain't that some Dallas Cowboys news for ya? Cowboys just roped in a lightning-fast receiver who's all about them flashy catches. Dallas Cowboys ain't slacking even a bit after the 2024 NFL Draft. So, check this out, 
the Dallas Morning News, through Michael Gelkin, spilled the beans that our boys sat down with wide receiver Tyran Billy Johnson back on April 30, 2024, giving a strong hint they were mulling over signing him up. And guess what? Just a few hours later, bam! Cowboys went ahead and made it official, welcoming Billy Johnson to the squad, alongside Ezekiel Elliott. Now, about that Ezekiel Elliott deal, it's still cooking but looks like it's getting stamped on Tuesday, as Gelkin hinted in a message on X dated April 30, 2024. But hold on to your hats, folks, cause there might be more good news brewing. Tyran Billy Johnson, the speed demon who was mostly doing his thing on the practice squad last season, he's back in Dallas, kicking it with the team. And word on the street is, he might just put pen to paper once he clears them physicals. Two birds chirped to me about it, folks familiar with the situation, you know. Billy Johnson might have chilled mostly on the practice squad last season, but mark my words, he's fixing to make some noise this time around. So, there's this vet, right? He snagged himself a practice squad deal with Dallas back on August 30th, but guess what? Dallas gave him the boot on January 4th. Now, keep your ears perked, cause we're talking about potential Dallas Cowboys material here. This guy, Tyrone Billy Johnson, he's like lightning on the field, man. Ran a 4.34 second 40-yard dash. Yeah, you heard me right, 4.34. That's some elite speed right there, folks. But hold your horses, cause speed ain't everything in the big leagues. Despite his quick feet, Billy Johnson hasn't exactly set the NFL on fire yet. His standout season? Well, that was back in 2020 when he was with the Chargers, reeling in 20 catches for almost 400 yards and three touchdowns. Not too shabby, huh? And get this, the dude's got some chops in special teams too, especially with all those new rules flying around in the NFL. Last time we saw him in action was with the Texans and Raiders in 2022, and he even did a stint with them Jags. So, what's the scoop on this Billy Johnson fella? Well, he's all about burning rubber down that field and making them big, flashy catches. Came out of Oklahoma State with a bang, putting up some impressive numbers in 2018. But hey, despite all the hype, he went undrafted in 2019. NFL.com's Lance Zierlein was singing his praises back then, talking about his speed and hands like they were the next big thing. Y'all ever heard about this deep ball specialist? Man, he's like a tornado tearing through defenses, according to Zierlein's draft talk. They call him Johnson. He's all about hauling in them long bombs, but gotta admit, rest of his game's still kinda rough around the edges. Ain't the slickest route runner, tends to spill the beans to them quarterbacks, making it easy pickings for M. Got some speed, sure, but them hands, well, they're shaking like a leaf, and his stats, well, they ain't exactly screaming superstar dot. So, remember old Dallas receiver Michael Gallup? Yeah, the one we let loose to the Raiders. Been a quiet offseason for us Cowboys, ain't it? Ain't snagged no big-name vet to fill them receiver shoes yet. Waited till the sixth round to pick up that kid from Southeast Missouri State, Flory. But hey, Gallup ain't sitting idle. Scored himself a one-year deal with them Raiders. Gelkin's got the deets, saying it's worth round $3 mil fresh start for him, they say. Finally shed them injury woes, too. ACL and MCL tears? That's old news now. Well, y'all, let me tell you why bringing Ezekiel Elliott back is like hitting paydirt for them Cowboys in 2024. Now, sure, I reckon the Dallas Cowboys oughta have snagged a run-in back in the draft. I mean, it was plum shocking they didn't, but hey, what's done is done. The NFL drafts come and gone, and the Cowboys went and fixed up their run and back situation with a familiar face. Yep, you heard it right, folks. Ezekiel Elliott, the Cowboys' top pick back in 2016, who spent last season over yonder with them New England Patriots, well, he's back in Dallas on a one-year deal. Now, I reckon some folks might have scratched their heads when Elliott left, but it made sense financially for them Cowboys, even though both sides tried to hash something out before the 2023 season kicked off. But now, he's back in the saddle, and let me give you three reasons why that's a mighty fine thing for the 2024 Cowboys. First off, locker room morale. Now, I'm telling ya, this year might just be the secret sauce of playing in the NFL. Every team's got talent, even them ones that ain't clinching victories left and right. 
but it's the bond, the brotherhood, that really sets a team apart. And let me tell you, even if Elliot's skills ain't quite what they used to be, he's always been a leader in that locker room. With Elliot back in the mix, that's bound to stir up some buzz, ain't it? Fans will be talking Dallas Cowboys news and rumors from dawn till dusk, chewing over what this means for the team. And you can bet your bottom dollar them Dallas Cowboys' latest news updates will be all about Elliot's return, from the Dallas Cowboys morning news to the Dallas Cowboys news today. But hang on tight, y'all, cuz I ain't done yet. See, having Elliot back on the field ain't just about locker room vibes and chatter. Nah, it's about what he brings to the game itself. Them Cowboys ain't just getting a running back, they're getting a seasoned vet who knows how to navigate them gridiron battles. And that, my friends, could make all the difference come game day. I mean, Zach Martin himself, the legend, the man with more moves than a Dallas Cowboys playbook, he straight up said it back in 2012. Now, picture this, while they were shuffling Elliott's deck, given Tony Pollard some more playtime, Elliott didn't sulk in no corner, nah, he was out there rooting for Pollard like he was wearing that number 21 jersey himself. That's the kind of loyalty that fires up a team, makes them wanna ride for each other like them cowboys riding into the sunset. Now, let's talk about Elliott's journey in the NFL. Man, oh man, it's been a ride wilder than a bull at the Dallas Rodeo. Started off like a bat out of hell leading the league in rushing as a rookie. Now, how many folks can say they done did that? But that's just the tip of the iceberg, folks. Elliot kept on trucking, leading in in rushing yards per game for three seasons straight, snatching up another rushing title along the way. And let's not forget 2019, when he was fourth in rushing and second in all-purpose yards. That's star power, my friends, pure and simple. But here's the kicker, even when they scaled back his reps for Pollard, Elliot kept his head high. That's the mark of a true team player, folks. And now, with a young gun like Dernis Johnson looking to make his mark, Elliot's like a wise old gunslinger showing him the ropes. And the mother boys, Rico Dowdle and Royce Freeman? Shoot, they might be veterans, but they ain't seen half of what Elliot's seen. With just nine starts between M and barely scratching 2,000 yards in nine seasons, they could sure use a masterclass from Elliot on how to carry that rock like a true cowboy. So, whether it's under them bright lights of Dallas or somewhere else down the road, Elliot's got wisdom to share. Cause being RB1 ain't just bout running that pigskin, it's bout carrying the weight of the team on your shoulders, and Elliot's been carrying that load like a true Dallas cowboy since day one.